guys and welcome back to my summer failed recording my god have i run into trouble with this game the last hour and a half this is about the third time i'm recording again like last time because i was doing a video on all the sub quests that i have to go basically clean shite holes um first recording failed because i didn't know where the bloody parking brake on the well, crap lorry was my own fault. Then second recording, I actually made it to. I was supposed to go. I went round, 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 and I made it to Parayarvi. By the looks of it, down. Actually cleaned one of the trains and couldn't get my Uzard. Drove the truck away from the hole against my own um, advice. Tore the hose off. It landed inside the bog hole. I looked at where my hose was, fell in the bog hole, died, and lost my save because I had permadeath on without actually knowing that I did have it on. Which was another issue. So, uh, yeah. All in all, it went horrendously. So, uh, I have to avoid doing that again. Pretty much as soon as possible um, but yeah I had to rebuild my car in record time I got it to the same stage where I had it before but this time the steering column is in and located in and if you look through here there's two size 8 bolts that you need to tighten I had to rebuild my engine in record time and I finally figured what went on there, it's a fuel pump. So for anyone that wants to put that on so long. But what I'm going to do in today instead of doing the side quests, which I no longer have, is I'm going to take Old Faithful here. Jeez, that coast is still around. And uh, I'm going to go firstly to Loppa. Because the tires are there somewhere. God hope I find it. I actually don't know. I think the farm. Now that I think about it, I go that way. I don't exactly know where the farm is that I'm on. Oh, it's there, isn't it? So I went there. Ah, oh, I was such an idiot. I thought I was here, so I went all the way around. Okay, so now I know if I go there, I come there and I go on there. Or I can just turn right and go to Loppa. Any case, I'm gonna go to Loppa and look for the wheels, and then I'm gonna go to, on shopping trip, and then I'll drive back to where I am now. Just because it's a nice round trip, I can actually get the wheels for the car this time round. I can get a rolling chassis. I can get a fire extinguisher for those that haven't seen my uh, fail clip that I need pretty badly. Though I don't think that would ever stop a house fire, but uh. At least I have some preventative measures, so uh, no one can piss and moan at me. Not that anyone has pissed and moaned at me, it's pretty good advice to have a fire extinguisher when everything around me can actually light on fire. And uh, get some fuel going. I'm gonna leave that at home. Let's just double check my rot, because I've already forgotten. I wouldn't even lie. There, 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 wheels somewhere. Then from there, all the way there. And that's all gravel road. I think what I might do is I might go to Lop and then just stick to the main road. Because also in the previous recording, I was driving the truck. Did really badly. Nearly ended up crashing it about, I think, at least 10 times. Which I put it high gear, 6th gear, floored it and just expected a very heavy vehicle to just make it around the corner. Because, you know real life works that way but uh yeah come on you bloody dog let's just see how today's trip goes because I'm just hoping it goes a little bit better than <laughs> my attempt so far and break down let's put it in forward gear And off we go. Um, 
I have to say, one thing I really don't have is patience. I don't have much patience at work, I don't have much patience at home, games. So y'all better fucking appreciate that I keep trying to record this for your usual pleasure. Because uh, it's taken every bit of me to just keep going with this and actually like upload this video tonight. Because I actually wanted to like record a second video. Just on anything, just in case somewhere along the line, if I needed extra content and I just didn't have time in the day, because, you know, real life goes pretty wrong sometimes. And that's some extra content. Might not happen to me. So, uh, it's not the end of the world. If I didn't enjoy this game so much, I probably would have got to like record it. But I'm not going to be buttered. I'm just going to take it on the chin, not crash this van on the way there. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to continue, do the best I can, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I figured out how to. Well, I can't. Remember, but I managed to get the gift money to work, so I got another 1.6k to spend on the basic pizzas and shit to drink. Um, and my uh, character is apparently epically stressed, so it's gonna take a few packs of cigarettes as well. But uh, yeah, at least he can relax. I don't think I will uh, relax all that much. I don't know if he's gonna crash as soon as he's super stressed. He said he needs to be fucking patient because uh, if he's not patient, I definitely won't be patient and this is gonna go even worse. I have to say, uh, obviously trying to like get my save game back after the permadeath, a lot of people are uh, a little bit of an auto excursion. How not to drive 101? At the very least, if you can't take any good viewing of this, learn how to not drive by watching me. Yeah, I'm um, watching a lot of people like in the comments. They they complain this game is very hard, and uh, in a sense, I agree with them. But it's what makes this game so much fun. It doesn't take prisoners. Well, actually, it does because there's a prison in the game. That's besides the point. Oop, let's go back to second gear. But yeah, I mean, I kind of like the difficulty to it because it keeps you on edge. Like, I can't just drive here and crash and just go like, ah, oh, it's fine. The developer removed the console so you can't, like, transport stuff back. You have to bear with me. I'm looking out for the house that actually has the, the wheels in it. I not too sure where it is, but I, it's supposed to be a locker. Oh, they got one. Oh, that sounds like a cell phone. Wow. If that was his music, how the fuck can he still hear anything? Holy god, that's why it's so loud, but Jesus, excuse my language. I know I do like loud music at all. I, uh, have my fair share of rock and uh, all that stuff, but that's a bit ridiculous. I'm looking for an apparent abandoned barn or house. No idea what it looks like, as again, my uh, what do they say? Fail to plan, plan to fail. And this bit I seriously hate because I usually drive my uh, van straight into the water. Which the whole like fail to plan that to fail thing is something I do quite often. I think I'm a lot I don't think I've ever been in the game yet. So yeah, excuse me if I search a bit. I well, let's just make like this is actually 1995. I don't have Google Earth. I don't have uh, a sense of brains or how to drive. I have to give this van uh, some credit for being tough. Oh my gosh. Uh, if I'm gonna... I wonder... Where's the handbrake? Not the fucking wipers. Turn the ignition off. 
the very least, um, if I can't find the house, I can basically steal this guy's car, I think. Yeah, I can. I'll probably get arrested, but... Um, I'm not too sure exactly where this abandoned house is supposed to be and where my uh, wheels are supposed to be. Well, this car looks like he has plenty stock. But I don't think it will have wheels for me. Which is quite sad. I was looking forward to completing my rolling chassis. Eh, I can't take it off. There's some nice wheels. There's some nice wheels. He's building a nice old American muscle car. Sadly, as much as I do know cars, I don't think. Oh, can I? I don't really give a shit what you feel like. Ooh. And my issues with this game continue. Oh, there we go. Um, well, that guy's gonna kill me if he runs into me. You will not crash into my van. I will freaking kill you. Do not drive into my bloody van, you asshole. Door's fine. Good job. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't exactly have much of an idea of where to look. So let's just make this interesting. Let's just hear what it sounds like at the very least. Change the gears. Uh, he doesn't want me to let. Well, he doesn't want me to drive his car. Lights. Boo! What an ass wipe. Not very uh, caring person. This one. Can put some truck wheels on my uh, thing. Ah, I don't know. I can always just go to the shop and on the way back look for where I need to go. I'm definitely gonna kick his ass someday. Cause he has a nice looking car, but he's never gonna beat my set sooner as soon as it's uh, built. Where is the ignition? But uh, Oop. there we go. Where is the little handbrake? There we go. Have a look on the way. Might just go that way on my way back. Is that it? Uh, just uh, quickly do this. Said it was some type of abandoned barn or something. I right, probably people are shouting at me again. Like, it's not there, you idiot. But uh, this place looks cool at the very least. I guess that's not it. Very least I can get um, some supplies for today. And I'm climbing up again. Okay, enter driving mode. Let's go. And bike off. Search continues. Yeah, um, my luck with this game is just absolutely horrible. But then again, I said my luck is horrible, but you make your own luck, and I did not. 
bother to check where it is because I thought, you know, just try to block where you'll find it easily. If not, much they wouldn't be able to miss it. And, uh, yeah. So that happened. Ooh. No, I swear I can drive better with this than this in real life, but, uh, it just does not translate into the game. Driving today and the roads are frozen and I've never seen my car skid around as much as it did today. It was insane. It was literally like the steering wheel was dancing around like it was the... Oh crap. Like it was doing a samba dance. It was just ridiculous. Ah, that would be a nice house to have someday. Once I win the rally. Okay, ooh, gosh. You know, I kinda envy the Scandinavians because doing my driving test, uh, which did the basic like turn right here, turn left here, indicate, look over your shoulder type of thing. And they do like advanced driving courses and all that for like a driving test approval. I wonder if that's it. But yeah, it, it, it must just be so nice to like have some skill in driving and they do like rallies over the weekend and all this type of thing. It's just. Oh no! Ah! Oh, for God's sake. Don't get. It, not turn into a mighty bitch. Um, yeah, it's just. It would be so cool if I could just like. have a weekend on a bike and do some rallies and all that. It would just be so cool to like do that for Harvey instead. Though I do like doing YouTube, but I probably like upload videos of me actually driving in the rally and uh, just do gaming content the other way. So hopefully someday I can move there and just like be a part of that. Even though I'm not 30, it's just sad that you feel like you're running out of years to do stuff. <laughs> I don't know if that's an insult or a good thing, because if you think about, like, if it's of all, then I would be a massive one. This guy should be happy about that. Okay, let's do a quick bit of shopping. Park like an ass wipe, put the handbrake on, ignition off, driving mode. Let's up with a little bit of juice in the old bastard. Yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna get to it again, but uh, I've decided on a name for the. You've got to be kidding me! This guy's not open yet. I thought about a name for the the sucking lorry, and I. I thought I'd dub her Sucking Susie, because she's amazing at sucking, she uh, can do quite a bit of it, without like complaining, sadly not in the sense that you're thinking of, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing all the side quests, hopefully I don't lose my pipe for my life again, because you know, that would just be ridiculous. This guy is <laughs> so stressed out. It's super funny. Just for you that don't know, there is the mechanic. He does help you tune your hunk of shite and turn it into a piece of gold. And if I remember correctly on the map, once you do the shitty missions, see what I did there, you can come here and offload all your crap. Quite quickly. Like, you can offload your crap and everyone else's crap and everyone's just happy about it. So why I'm waiting for that tosser to open his freaking shop when he feels like it, I'll quickly check. God of Thunder, isn't that Thor? Why do not he just say Thor? Ah, then again, Thor in Scandinavian or what, Finnish. Ooh. Look at that, all that brown gold, people. That's how you make money. In this game, at least. Oh, God, I'm thirsty. I cannot drink that. I'd freaking die. 
But I'm thinking, by the look of that, don't know if you can open it, but you can probably offload in there. What is this hunk of shit running about? I know the Satsuna is pretty sad, but this is just ridiculous. Okay, let's go see if that guy has opened his shop yet. I am so gonna get demonetized as soon as this, like, hits the point where I can actually make money off YouTube because this guy <laughs> is just helping my case every two seconds. Let's see, there's a back door here. And no, that is not a joke for something worse. Oh, what a lonely bus driver. He doesn't even have freaking passengers. Uh, another reason why I want the shop to open is because there are... Hercule. There are a few supplies in there that I missed last time that I do want to show you because I completely like missed the chance to actually make an episode about it. But uh, now that I have the chance, there he is! You lazy fucker, you almost made me wait again. Okay, quickly before I get into that, I need to buy one of them. I don't really have much hunger and I need to buy one of them. I'll buy the rest in a second, but there's method to my madness. Uh, just have a drink quickly. Down a bit. And then we get this. For those of you that actually do smoke, here's something uh, very uh, rewarding. Let's just get that stress down. Take a big old puff. This guy has lungs of steel. At least he's not gonna like spark profanity every two seconds while I'm trying to do my shopping and actually drive home. <laughs> uh, <sighs> get rid of your stress and give yourself cancer instead. That's the smart way to do it. Which is quite biased to me because I uh, did my in-service with the tobacco company. Okay, important bits. I guess it's not necessary to buy a battery or an oil fil filter, but it's probably better quality than the ones you're used to. But battery is expensive, a filter is not. So I'm going to start with this. To uh, MJ, this is where I found the spark plugs. So there you go. Get a pack of them. And uh, alternator belt, very important. I'm gonna buy two because I don't know what the frick I'm supposed to do about the water belt. Fire extinguisher for um, the household situation. Spray glitch fluid, so you're gonna need. They're cheap, so I'm just gonna buy all of them. Motor oil, this is easily gonna cover you. Two stroke fuel for the little bike, it's quite nice if you just wanna ride around. Coolant, I will need, and that's plenty. Uh, if the system's empty, it might not be plenty, but carpets. I'll come back for the colors later on because I do want to like do a special thing with the the um, paint job. I don't know how variable you can make it. Sumi dash cover, seat cover. I'll just change the seats or the dash if I ever need to. And uh, that comes to. Wow! What did I buy that was so expensive? Any case, doesn't matter. I have some extra money, so let's just get a bunch of food. And a couple of more beer cases. And that should be me covered. Ah! Uh... Might as well fill my pantry. Two grand. Can't. Well, fuck me. Being in the UK, if you had to go to the till and it says two grand, you'd probably like drop your organs right there. Yeah. Ooh, bloody hell. 
I am not going to press E again, because last time I basically made my shopping explode everywhere, and I had to pick it up bit by bit, and if I do that again, I'm literally going to have an aneurysm. I think I've had enough trouble with this game today. <laughs> so let's do that. Then we can uh, full up and head back. I did not want that. But uh, he'll forgive me if I just put it on the list and not buy it right now. Ah, I got shouted at for leaving that open, so uh, my bad, I did it again, but uh, you know, I'll just, uh, I have a fire extinguisher, so it's okay, I I'm covered this time. If the car, like, burns down now, at least I'm like, I have some attempt to save it. Now, one thing I don't know is, I know this is my summer car and you build a Satsuna, but it would be nice if you could build one of those cars as well, and you're more than welcome to shout in the comments, that is what you can do, if you can. I don't know, I haven't played this in Yonks, what? Ooh, okay. That's nice of him to give that as well would make sense but yeah it would be nice if we could build variable things because obviously they are in the game they're built on the same system as the Setsuna is built so it would be a nice addition if you could buy different cars later on but for now the Setsuna will do me good and as far as I remember I don't know if it it is Finland that do the weekend um, rallies and you can oh, literally look at that, you know, walk like up to it. the winner and ask him to buy his car and last time I checked, this is ages ago, he's not allowed to decline. So you can buy the winning car off him and or her and keeps the person from winning over and over again, which I think is a brilliant system. I think uh, if Formula 1 adopted something like that or G they just like take the winning car and retire the guy for the next race or something I don't know that sounds like a stupid idea but just to like level the playing field it would be quite cool to watch no one could people like winning with humongous margins anymore and you just like you can't be bothered to watch it because it's just the same thing over and over again and that coming from a big Formula 1 fan quite painful let's just see if I can fill her up more or less That'll do. It's too much money. Oh, I'm such a sting. Did I just pay for something else? I don't know. Doesn't matter. So that, as far as I know, should cover my shopping for a good while. I'm not too sure about the barbecue thing. Oh, I can buy milk. Everlasting milk or puma milk. Oh god, can you imagine? But yeah, that should last me a while. Should be nice and close this door. And I'm quickly gonna check if I can't find the wheels. But at least now you have a good idea of what you should buy and what's useful for the car. Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I know exactly what I did and I, I was about to make an ex extremely stupid mistake <laughs> I worry about myself sometimes luckily I don't do this in real life I promise I utterly promise but uh, I get distracted way too much this ooh shiny syndrome can become really lethal if it wants to oh, she's happy with more juice put the handbrake off and Let's go. See if I can continue on my failed quest to find the wheels for my car. I have to admit one thing. Living in a place like this with all the trees and nature must be extremely relaxing. I know people are extremely dependent on their phones and the internet and all this, but I think sometimes it's to the detriment of your health. It really doesn't do you all that good that you think. I have too much of a reliance on it, myself included. 
what I'm saying that <laughs> while sitting behind a PC screen playing a game and uploading it to the internet. Ah, oh, you utter bastard. Ooh, well, that makes my trip a bit more interesting. Let's see if I can't just take a short trip through the field. I'm sure the farmer won't mind. All in all, it's the same thing, really. Who says what's a road? What isn't a road? There we go. I, I just, I knew it. I, I saw him earlier, I pissed on him. I knew he was angry. I just knew he was gonna, like, uh, or he was gonna do something to spite me. I freaking knew it. As soon as I saw him today, I saw him always as an art for me. For you that are still wondering why I only like driving the second gear, it should be obvious by now that uh, if I drive any faster, I will be dead. Oh, that one's not open. I don't think I can see. I don't know, I'll have to look into it if I can't find it. But yeah, if I drive any faster, I'm definitely gonna die all the time and gonna lose a bunch of money. It might be funny the first time around, and I will eventually die while driving. Probably especially racing in the Sasset Tuna, but uh, I died plenty of times before just because I was driving too fast. I think actually here as well, I was in about third or fourth gear and I just like smashed up the van so bad. Already bad memories because I could not be bothered to be patient. Like I've mentioned before, I'm pretty new to this still, and uh, any type of feedback, even if you clicked on and watched the first three seconds of this, which if you did, you wouldn't hear me saying this now, the feedback would be uh, appreciated. If it's boring, let me know. If it's not boring, let me know. It's probably the best thing I could get beyond subscribers now is proper feedback on what people like to see more like this because it's easy to watch someone else but his point is trying to copy them because you're not the same person you don't have the same personality there's some guidelines you can take out of it but that's about it let's just see if it's in here it is this is it hey this oh, I can't even speak and think at the same time when I'm excited this is the place where the wheels are. I'm so glad I found it. Let's go. Piss off. This is definitely the abandoned house. I know I can't open the doors, but there is a way to get in here. And it is. Well, obviously not in there. Uh, thirst I can deal with. That's easy. Let's see. Where am I supposed to go in? Please don't be like some obscure place that I can't find. Do I have to bring my sledgehammer or something? Ah, oh, this is going to be so painful if I was supposed to bring something with me. Let's just see. Maybe I can be sneaky and just walk in here. Ah, oh, come on. This is going to be so frustrating if I can't get in. But yeah, the the I'm pretty certain the the wheels are supposed to be on the second floor. Or I might be confused and just think this is the place and it is not the place. It doesn't look like the place now that I think about it. That is an epic fail. I just see what is around here. Dipping station. I guess this isn't it? Well, talk about being premature on so many levels. That's quite frustrating, but... Oh, wait, no. I see some stairs going upstairs. It does look like I was supposed to bring the sledgehammer, but, you know... That little fucker is coming past again. 
fuck it because I'm in tool mode. Please, please, please let me in. I would be eternally grateful. Oh, well, I can always come back with a sledgehammer and just knock that door open. I'll still look into it, what you're supposed to do, but it's nice to know I found the place at least. Or what I think it is. I still don't know for sure. Uh, let's reverse. And break. And I could always smash the door open with the ass end of the van, but um, I'm gonna stick to being tempted and not doing it. Oof. It's gonna be interesting to see if there is that. I'll do like a quick off screen tour. See if it is that. It can only be that. I mean, there's no other abandoned house that I can see in the like, distance. I might have like fucked it up. Oh no, I'm fine. You didn't see anything. I just have a quick look this side. I don't think there is anything, but now I might as well explore while I'm in my van. No, it definitely isn't here. It must be that house. I might just quickly include it in the... This video. If I can do it quick enough. Let's just see how long it takes to get over and then uh, I might drive back with the sledgehammer in the back. Oh, that's exciting. I don't want the freaking wheels so bad. I think, I guess, one of my first uh, points of order in uh, my playstyle would be plan what the hell you're doing. <laughs> because, uh, that's only funny for so long. Ooh, bloody hell. I hope you can't dog a whiplash or smashing your head into the roof because um, only my character would last very long if it did. Ooh, I need to do something important quickly. Just before my character dies. Do not do this at home, kids. This is very stupid what I'm about to do, even though it's just a game. Oh, he's such a ladies man. Just throw them in the back because let's not litter. And uh let's quickly get rid of some residual pressure. Add some adding uh balancing out chemicals to the water. Ah, and he's so jolly he's actually like waving his head from side to side. Let's close that. Let's close that. Thank you. And uh, let's get back on the road. Uh, almost turned the ignition on, even though it is already uh, on and in gear. God, I, I worry about my uh, mental state sometimes. I think this trip has been more or less successful. By the fact that uh, I've done nothing interesting so far besides. I might have a slight issue. Well, I'll see you all in the next episode if you've enjoyed it. <laughs> well, tune in next time. <laughs>